In this video, I'll cover some tips on making the male passenger in the Automoblox vehicle. I typically start at the bottom of his shirt, and then we'll do an offset plane to come up to the shoulders and make him using a loft. So I'll start out with a 2D sketch, place it on the top sketch. If it rolls it around, roll it back so that the word top appears the way you'd normally read it. That would make this the front. You've got a few different options. You kind of have to look at the individual and see whether an ellipse would work better or whether you should do a rectangle and then kind of round off the edges with fillets. I'm going to use an ellipse just for simplicity purposes right now. So I bring it out to the size of the bottom of his shirt. And then I would finish that sketch after dimensioning it. Do a offset from plane. And you're going to have to come over and select the origin and then find the plane that we just drew it on. You'll bring it up the distance that is uh, between the bottom of his shirt and the top of his shoulders. Again, I didn't measure anything, so I'm just doing it to where it looks proportional. This has him at almost 8 inches tall for a shirt. That's obviously not right. Um, but again, just to show you the technique. So I'll click OK, start a sketch on this new plane create another ellipse starting at the same center point then dimensioning out however far his wide his shoulders are finish this sketch and I'm gonna under the sweep use the loft so I'm gonna loft the bottom sketch up to the top sketch and OK now his shoulders are curved at the top and in order to do that I'm going to need to start a sketch. And I can do it on the plane here. Um, I'll do an arc. And you're going to want to dimension those points so that it comes out even. Because you can see here I didn't hit the center point with it. So you probably best to come out and position a point and position another point and then dimension that point to the origin. And I'm trying to get the distance left and right and what's happening is it's trying to get the uh, line instead of that origin. So I may need to draw a temporary line in here and use that to dimension instead. Again, my dimensions are not correct, but I'm trying to make it even. Then if I dimension an arc, hitting those points, then my center point will hit here so that it rounds. going to delete that line and then I have to connect across in order to have an object that I can extrude. I'll finish the sketch, do an extrude of that sketch I just made, change it to a cut symmetrically and I want it to go all the way across. Okay. This will give us a rounded shoulder up at the top. On the front of his shirt, he has a little cutout, and so I want to bring that an offset plane out in front in order to cut that out. I'm going to do an offset from plane, and I'll find the one that runs through him this direction. I just need to bring it out to where it's out in front. Then start a sketch. And again, you might be better off to uh, work by creating points. So if I came up and I knew how high that point was, then I can make an arc that goes from the corner to here. And I want these arcs to be the same. And 
and then I need to connect those. Finish the sketch, and I'm going to extrude. Okay, and it did not, somewhere it didn't connect, it's not letting me have the object. A lot of times what I'll do is go back into it and draw a line down the center to try to figure out where it's messed up. So in that case, I can come back extrude. It sees that side. It doesn't see the right side. Okay, it sees down at the bottom, but not up here. So something is wrong with the arc, and I can see right there that it didn't connect. So I'll go back in, edit the sketch. Zoom in a little bit more. And we'll use the extend. Take it up there to the top. Okay. Didn't like the extend there. Um, and really, what's wrong with it is the arc. So I'm going to delete my arc. Do it again. Bring it from here. Make sure I hit now this corner. Finish the sketch. Do an extrude. And now I'm able to grab the whole thing. I want to change it to a cut. And I need it to go about halfway in. If I had dimensioned how far I brought this out, then I would take it back exactly that distance. I didn't put, didn't put that information out there. Okay, so that cuts him out. Then we'll come back and add this piece in. So I'm going to do an offset from plane. And bring this down the distance of that a little tab that connects to the base. Start a sketch. Finish it, and then we will extrude going upward into him. You want to make sure that you go up past that point to fill it in. Next I want to create his arms. And the arms just kind of stick out here on the sides. Easiest way to do that would be to start a sketch on the mid plane that runs through him. And if you want to see uh, it easier, we can come over and create a half section view and do it on that same plane. And the reason I might do that is I like to make the arc start inside the body there a little bit. And then kind of bring it out. I'm going to redo that. I like it starting inside here, but I think it needs to come up to the um, edge of the shoulder. And then I'm going to bring it over a little bit into him. The reason I'm doing that is because since he's kind of rounded on the side, if I just make it touching right in the middle, it's going to separate from his body as it comes away. So I'll do that. You want to do the same thing on the other side. Again, if I was doing this properly, I would dimension everything by placing points first. 
so that his arms were the exact same size, or you could also use a mirror tool. Finish the sketch, then we would extrude those arms, making them symmetrical. And I can go back to my view and end my section view. Then the arms themselves, they're kind of rounded on the outside edge. So what I typically do is come back and create a fillet. Clicking the outside edges of those. And same thing on the opposite side. For the head, I would come in on the same plane that we just did the arms on. And again, this isn't the best method. Um, you're actually going to want to try to create the shape a little closer to what it looks like. But I'm going to use an ellipse just to do a general shape. And I would do a center line down it. Finish the sketch and use the revolve tool. Selecting half of it around the center line and OK. At this point, I would save him, and then after saving him, then you can come back and add the base. So you kind of do a, a save as, and call it the square male passenger, and then do another save as, call it the circle passenger. Then you can come back, and on the bottom, create a sketch. And on one of them, you'll make the rectangle. Or the square and on the other one you'll come in and you'll make your circle for it and just extrude that piece out. And then you can hide your work planes. So again this isn't exact but it's kind of the basic tips that you would use to make it and you can work on modifying uh, his head so it looks a little more like the individual person and you could come in and create the automobile blocks symbol on his chest as well as well as adding eyes and face if you'd like to